Hello everybody, and welcome to 21st Century Woodworking, with me, your host, Dirk the Engineer. Today is Saturday, my wife's out of town, I've got the house and shop to myself, so I figured I would mess around and see once what I could come up with. Um, last night I was viewing some of uh, App Journeyman's uh, woodworking videos. He's got some pretty phenomenal stuff on there and one of the things that he uh, he made was um, some inlay banding. It's pretty cool and uh, of course he doesn't have a CNC which is which is fine. Um, traditional woodworking is also a lot of fun but I thought that uh, inlay banding would be the perfect thing to do on a CNC because it entails cutting thousands and thousands and thousands of um, little pieces of wood and gluing them up. So what I've done, I've just come up with a very simple design and um, uh, all it is is essentially a diamond pattern. What I used was this magnate bit. It's a pretty good bit. It's very sharp. Um, it does a good job. But one thing that you'll notice is that these style bits tend to have um, a little bit of a round on the end um, and that's not such a big deal for most applications but for for this when you're when you're working with really tiny trying to create little tiny features um, that rounded corner can cause some issues um, what I would have preferred to have used was um, this in groove system but I did not have a um, 90 degree attachment or 90 degree cutting edge uh, in this set. I would have to order one. Uh, this will give me nice and clean uh, cuts that have a very sharp uh, inner corner. Okay, So if you can get this and get the 90 degree uh, cutter, I'd, I'd recommend it for doing this kind of work. Uh, so in the videos what you'll see is me using a file um, and just going across gently after I've, I've cleaned up the, or after I've made the cuts. And the only reason I had to do that was because, because that uh, corner wasn't sharp. So if you use that in-groove system, I have, I have a feeling that you won't uh, have any issues making that for yourself. So without further ado, I just wanted to uh, get started and show you how I did it. Thanks.